Hey guys, so recently there's been a lot of attention and excitement surrounding the new 3 liter twin turbocharged Hurricane engine from Stellantis. This engine is releasing for 2023 models, and along with the excitement comes a lot of uncertainty, especially from some enthusiasts who don't like change. After all, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram have been using the same few engines for around a decade now, so this new Hurricane engine definitely is a big change. It also begs the question, how does it compare with the current Hemi V8 engines, and will it be replacing those engines in the near future? So today we're going to look at the current 5.7 liter and 6.4 liter Hemi V8 engines, and compare everything we know, like the performance specs, gas mileage, towing, and more, to these new 3 liter Hurricane engines, both the standard output and high output versions. So let's get started. So if you weren't aware, this engine that we're talking about is the all-new 3.0-liter global medium engine turbocharged inline 6-cylinder, or GMET-6 for short. It continues using the Hurricane name, as it's based on the current 2.0-liter GMET-4 inline 4-cylinder version that's found in several vehicles. As for a couple important notes before we begin, so far the only confirmed application for the 3.0-liter inline 6 engine is the 2023 Jeep Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer models. I fully expect this engine to make its way across several other Stellantis vehicles, but we'll just have to wait and see for exactly which ones. The point is, we will be limiting this comparison to the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer specs for the Hemi vs the Hurricane. And another important note, originally there were slated to be three versions, standard output, high output, and plug-in hybrid electric. We now know that the plug-in hybrid electric version of the Hurricane engine has been cancelled. So now we'll compare the engines, first we'll look at each one specifically, and then come back at the end and kind of compare all the details together. So first let's have a look at the 5.7 liter Hemi V8. This 5.7 Hemi made its triumphant return under the hood of the 2003 Dodge Ram trucks, but by 2008 it was in need of some changes. All 2009 and up Hemis received those changes, with more power and better fuel economy thanks largely in part to the use of variable cam timing, as well as much improved Eagle cylinder heads. Fast forward some 13 years later, and the 5.7 liter Hemi with the e-torque is now under the hood of the 2022 Jeep Wagoneer. This is currently the only engine available for the entire lineup of Wagoneers, with 392 horsepower and 404 pound-feet of torque. 89 octane fuel is recommended. Fuel economy for the 4x2 Wagoneer and the 5.7 Hemi is rated at 16 mpg city, 22 highway, and 18 mpg combined. The 4x4 Wagoneer has the same specs, but the fuel economy drops a bit to 15 mpg city, 20 highway, and 17 overall. These models also have a 3.21 rear axle ratio and are good for 10,000 pounds of towing. Now we can look at the 6.4 liter Hemi V8. This was first launched in the 2011 Dodge Challenger SRT8 with variable camshaft timing and MDS in the cars that have automatic transmissions. The 6.4 is referred to by a few different names like 392 Hemi for its cubic inches of displacement and reference to the first generation 392, its codename Apache, or just 6.4 liter Hemi. Starting in the 2014 model year, the heavy duty trucks and cab chassis got a revised version of the 6.4 liter. Again, jumping to 2022, this was the only offering for the Jeep Grand Wagoneer until the release of the Hurricane engine. Under the hood, that packs 471 horsepower and 455 pound-feet of torque, with 91 fuel octane required. Fuel economy dips down here, rated at 13 mpg city, 18 highway, and 15 combined. The Grand Wagoneer uses a 3.92 rear axle ratio and can tow just a bit less than the Wagoneer at 9,850 pounds. Now we can look at the new Hurricane engines and see how it stacks up to the Hemis. First we have the standard output which will be offered alongside the 5.7 liter in the 2023 Jeep Wagoneer L models, and likely the regular Wagoneers as well. So it seems this standard output is the direct competitor for the 5.7. In this application, the Hurricane comes with 420 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque when using the recommended 89 octane fuel and provides 22 PSI of boost. That's a big improvement of 28 horsepower and 64 pound-feet of torque over the Hemi. The gas mileage goes up slightly to 17 MPG city, 23 highway and 19 overall for the 4x2, and 16 city, 22 highway, and 19 combined MPG for the 4x4 models. The Wagoneer L will use a 3.92 rear axle ratio and is good for 10,000 pounds of towing on the 4x2 and 9,850 pounds on the 4x4. So comparing it to the 5.7 Hemi, it does look like it improves in just about every aspect. It will have 7.1% more horsepower, 15.8% more torque, and 5.5% better gas mileage for the 4x2 models, 
and 11.8% better for the 4x4s. Also keep in mind these are numbers for the 2023 Jeep Wagoneer L, which is 12 inches longer than the Wagoneer. More room equals more weight, so that would affect the fuel economy as well, so that means it would be better in the Wagoneer, we just don't have those numbers yet. The towing will also remain the same for the 4x2, but it will be 150 pounds less with the Hurricane for the 4x4s. Next is the high output version of the Hurricane, which is more in competition with the 6.4 liter Hemi. This engine will again be offered alongside the 6.4, in fact it's already an option on all the 2022 Grand Wagoneer models for an extra $2,000. It will also be found on the 2023 models, as well as the Grand Wagoneer L 4x4 as well. This Hurricane makes 510 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque, requiring 91 octane fuel and providing 26 pounds of boost. So compared to the 6.4, 4 that's an extra 39 horsepower and 45 pound-feet of torque. The gas mileage again is just a bit better, 14 city, 19 highway and 16 combined MPG. Again, the 3.92 rear axle ratio is used, and the towing capacity is 9,450 pounds. So comparing it back again to the 6.4 liter Hemi, this time we're looking at 8.3% more horsepower, 9.9% more torque, and 6.7% better gas mileage. But the towing has decreased by 400 pounds. So again, there aren't too many disadvantages of the high output and standard output Hurricane here, as they are just marginally more powerful and efficient than the Hemis, but in certain instances they do tow just a bit less. To answer the question of whether the Hurricane will replace the Hemis in the near future, the answer is not right now. At the moment, the Hemis will continue to be offered as standard equipment, with the Hurricane available for a few extra thousand dollars. However, I would expect the standard output to replace the 5.7 and the high output Hurricane to replace the 6.4 in most of the vehicles by 2024 or 2025. Before we finish the video, here's a few more charts that compare the Hemis to the Hurricanes. The red line is 5800 RPM for the standard output, same as the 5.7, and the high output is 6100 RPM, so less than the 6.4. The compression ratio on the standard output is 10.4 to 1, while the high output is 9.5 to 1, so both less than their Hemi counterparts. The Hurricane engines are also around 150 pounds lighter than the Hemis, between 430 to 441 pounds, versus the 582 to 591 pound Hemis. The 5.7 Hemi has a cast iron block and crankshaft with a 3.92 inch bore and 3.58 inch stroke. The 6.4 liter Hemi also has a cast iron block but uses a forged steel crankshaft with a 4.09 inch bore and a 3.72 inch stroke. Both the Hemis have cast aluminum cylinder heads. The Hurricane uses a cast aluminum block and cast aluminum cylinder heads as well, but unlike the hyperutectic pistons that are found in both the Hemis, the Hurricane high output features forged aluminum pistons while the standard output version uses die cast aluminum pistons. The Hurricane has a 3.31 inch bore and 3.54 inch stroke, so that's the same bore and stroke as the current 2 liter Hurricane global medium engine turbocharged 4 cylinder that's found in the Jeep Cherokee, Grand Cherokee, Wrangler, and Alfa Romeo Stelvio and Giulia. Just to bring up some performance times, the 2022 Jeep Wagoneer with the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 does a 0 to 60 in 6.7 seconds and the quarter mile in 15.1 seconds. The 2022 Grand Wagoneers, which have the 6.4, do 0 to 60 about 1 second faster, so 5.7 seconds, and the quarter mile is also about a second faster, 14.1 seconds. Of course, we don't know the performance times of these vehicles with the Hurricane engine under the hood just yet, but they should be a little bit faster due to the engines being more powerful and also weighing less. As for some other Hurricane details, I did go over these in my last video on this engine a few weeks ago, so I'll just post the points on screen and go over them briefly. But it's nothing new here. The Hurricane has a dual overhead camshaft design, 4 valves per cylinder, direct injection, and variable intake and camshaft timing. The turbochargers are low inertia, high flow models, each feeds 3 cylinders which increases responsiveness. The engine has direct fuel injection with a single pump for the standard output model, and twin pumps for the high output model. Incoming air is cooled by an engine mounted intercooler before it enters the intake manifold, which makes the air denser which helps for better performance. An electric pump is also used to cool the turbochargers after the engine is shut off, and each engine comes standard with start-stop technology. Stellantis also claims they're using a new technology on this engine that's called plasma transfer wire arc. This process melts a steel alloy wire at over 4000 degrees Fahrenheit, which sprays steel onto the cylinder walls at high velocity and the particles form a physical bond to the aluminum cylinder surface. 
It's then honed for a fine crosshatch pattern for oil retention. This sprays at supersonic speed, which creates a durable finish, and Stellantis says it's 10 times more wear resistant than a cast iron coating. This eliminates the need for cylinder liners. This process is more compact than iron liners, and it leaves more aluminum between the cylinders for heat transfer and cooling. That allows for a wider spark advance range and optimized air fuel mixture. Production of the new Hurricane engine is already underway at the Saltillo engine plant in Ramos Arizpe, Coalua, Mexico. As we've been over, it's actually already available to order for the 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneers. I fully expect this engine will eventually be rolled out to other North American products, maybe even the next generation Dodge Challenger and Charger, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, and possibly the Ram 1500. To me, this turbocharged six-cylinder engine seems like a stepping stone for Stellantis, as they are aiming for their 50% battery electric vehicle sales mix by the year 2030. So that's it for today. What do you think of the comparison between the 3-liter Hurricane and the 5.7 and 6.4-liter Hemis? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for all your Mopar news and content, and I'll see you in the next video.